what's up what's up what's up viewers welcome to my channel in today's episode we are going to be talking about how to check for wordpress security updates before we get started please if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification and of course don't forget to like this video at the end of this video so guys now the talk for today is how to check for wordpress security update as a beginner so many WordPress users don't really know how to check for WordPress and security updates. But with this video, you get to know how to do that. So guys, when starting a blog at the beginning, um, some of them don't really know how to do this thing. And security updates can help protect your website from, from malware attacks, from hacks, and also from virus, and also from threats. So that's why you need to make sure your WordPress files, your WordPress plugin and others, they are up to date. Because having an old version of the plugin or a team and others can easily allow website hackers to hack your site or to send the virus into your website. So by updating all these things, you are protecting your website from virus and from malware attack. So why do you need to check for WordPress security of this? The major reason is mostly for DDoS attacks, also to protect your website from viruses, like I said earlier. So, WordPress shows you updates that are available for any software or any plugin that you have in your WordPress. And what you need to do next is for you to make sure you update these plugins, these files, or this software. As soon as you see an update available, all you have to do is to make sure you update them and make sure your WordPress is up to date. Security update will also protect your website from uh, new threats and from new malware. And also, that being said, how do we check for security updates from WordPress? So I'll be doing the tutorial right now and I want you guys to pay attention to me because the tutorial is very easy. Within a few minutes, you are done. So I'll do you do that. The first thing is to log into your WordPress, which I have done already. But if you haven't, all you have to do is to go to your website name slash WP admin or your website name slash admin and then you enter your your login details. So once you are logged into your WordPress, the first page you're gonna see is this very page right here, which is the dashboard. As you can see guys, this is the dashboard. So you meet this page as soon as you log in and how do you check for updates? To check for updates, you have to over your mouse right to the second button right here. As you can see, there's a, there's a five notification right here, which means there are five updates that we need to to run right now. So, so guys, you have to click on this button right here and you wait for the page to load and as you can see, the page is loading. So guys, once the page is, is downloaded, as you can see, as it stays here, I, I have the latest version of WordPress, as you can see, version 5.8.1, which is the latest version, and down here, there are four updates, one, two, three, okay, there are four updates that we need to run right now, as you can see, so what you have to do, you have to choose the ones that you want to update, the ones that you know that you need, but if you don't need any one here, you can just go to your plugin session and remove and remove those plugins that you don't need or those files that you don't need so so now we are going to update all the files here so how do we do that you, you mark all if you want to update all the files just click on all and then you click on update plugins but if you want to select you have to click on the particular one that you want to update if it's this one click on update if it's this one click on update so now let's do this one after the other let's let's update this one as you can see guys the plugin has been updated now what you have to do is to go back to the plugin page or go to wordpress update page again as you can see we have updated that one and it's, it's no longer here we now have till here but on the other hand, if you want to reinstall your WordPress version, maybe you see your WordPress is misbehaving or something is wrong with your WordPress and you see you want to reinstall, you can just click on this button here that says reinstall version. 
but my WordPress is very much okay. So what we are going to be focusing on is just plugins. So now, now we try to install it just one. Now let's mark two and install and update. guys done so once the plugins or the teams they are all updated you will, you will notice that the files will no longer be at this very spot yeah as you can see as you can see the files are no longer here so that's it guys this is how to update your your wordpress files if you find this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Alright guys, have a nice day. Peace out.